your bank is a 2D array of storage cells, DRAM cells. Your rows are your word lines and your columns are your bit lines. So an individual cell might look something like this. Transistor, which is connected to your capacitor. Your word lines are going in rows and your bit lines are going vertically. When a word line is asserted, all of the capacitors are read on that specific word line. This capacitor is holding one volt. At this point, the word line is asserted, which means this transistor is closed. This voltage then is now flowing from the capacitor over to the bit line. The first step is to pre-charge this bit line. 0.5 volts. We've closed this transistor because the word line has been asserted and part of that one volt is leaking over here and hitting this bit line. This 0.5 volts is increasing and that increase is being detected by something called a sense amplifier. When the sense amplifier detects that, it shoves enough voltage to account for that previous leakage. And so this fills back up to one volt. Now that is a read-write operation. A refresh is nothing more than a read-write operation. Let's talk about it. Zero volts. Part of that 0 0.5 volts is going to be flowing into this capacitor here. This gate is still closed. This little bit in the capacitor can now flow back over the transistor and that will discharge the capacitor, refreshing it to zero volts. When people adjust T-Refi, all they're doing is decreasing the frequency of refreshes, which again, are just read-write operations, so that more of your DRAM resources are reserved for read-write operations. And that's why bumping that number can help you out during gameplay. Now, if you go to Reddit or whatever, they're gonna tell you to up that number to the highest thing. But what happens is then now you're not refreshing and your capacitors leak, which causes data corruption, which is gonna cause glitches and micro stuttering in games.